Hi dreamers, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am back with a review of The Rock's new Zoa pre-workout energy drink. Um, so if you're interested in seeing what my first impression is, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe so you can catch all my upcoming videos that I have. I'm gonna do a full review after I've had a chance to um, try this and do a workout. I'll come back and do my overall uh, review of the product today is just the first impression um this is the zoa pre-workout energy supplement and um it is a 12 ounce can i purchased a case on amazon and it was 39 dollars for a, a a pack of 12 which is a bit more expensive from the energy drink the energy drink a case of 12 costs uh, $29 also the energy drink is a 16 ounce can so you get a little bit more of the energy drink versus this pre pre-workout um, the pre-workout is uh, 200 milligrams of caffeine supposed to be natural caffeine from coffee extract um, this is 20 calories has one gram of carbohydrates so that is very good good for a pre-workout um, I do like low calorie pre-workouts and um, low sh no sugar and this has this is sugar free and it only has one gram of carb. Um, the difference in in this pre-workout versus the energy drink is this is supposed to be geared specifically towards enhancing your performance in your workout. So it has the L um, the L sutraline that you find in a lot of powder pre workouts. Um, so so imagine if you had a pre uh, pre workout powder and you dumped it in water and shake it up. This is like that, but it's already ready to go. Um, so that's why it's a little bit smaller because you don't you won't don't want to have uh, a 16 ounce drink to have before your workout. So this would be good, you know, if you used to drinking like an eight ounce pre workout. Uh, maybe you can do half of this, see how you feel, and do other half during your workout. Um, it has nitric oxide, which is the L-sutraline, uh, focus, vitamin B6, um, electrolytes, potassium, and sodium. It has the energy, and it has um, immunity, vitamin C, and D. Um, and then it has workout support, L-carnitine, L-tartrate, vitamin B5, and beta teen and androgynous. Now, um, I think that beta, beta, beta is the, the thing that kind of make you feel all prickly over. I do like that feeling. Um, so I want, I am going to, uh, you know, report back later after I drink this to have my workout to see if it gave me that feeling. I, it just makes me feel like my pre-workout is working when I get that, you know, that tingly feeling all over. This is the passion, the pineapple, pineapple passion fruit flavor. There's a, there are three flavors. There's a, a blackberry flavor and then there's a mandarin orange and then so i this is more uh up my of my speed this pineapple out of those three um so i am going to go ahead and try this um i'm gonna give it about 30 minutes to kick in and then i'll go complete my workout and then i'll come back and report back on um you know how i felt doing my workout did i feel it was uh substantial enough i do about a 30 to 45 minute workout um so hopefully it's 200 milligrams of calories i mean of caffeine should be plenty um also i do drink the energy drinks i was you know that i was drinking those like half a can before a workout i found that to be sufficient i do have a video posted already of my full review of that one of the just regular energy drink and i found that sufficient and i did great in my workouts uh with those as well so you know for me it just because of the price difference if i don't see a lot of difference with this versus the other energy drink i may just go back to using that um and I'll, it also lasts me long because like i said i don't use a half of can a half a can of that um and that gets me through my workouts and i feel, feel pretty energized and focused so without further ado i'm going to go ahead and pop this open and taste it So it's not it's not very carbonated, which is good. Um, I do like that. 
I don't feel like I taste like pineapple. Um, I don't feel like it tastes like, oh, okay. So I get a little bit of the pineapple. <clears throat> it's not very citrusy. It tastes more, I don't know. It tastes like, a, I guess it does taste like a pre-mixed workout. Um, I, I will say I do, I think I enjoy the energy drink flavor, uh, better than this, but, um, this is, this is easier to go down because it's not very, uh, carbonated at all. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty light. Yeah. Okay. So now it, after a couple of drinks, I do feel it, it's kind of reminds you of the, um, pineapple coconut flavor of the, of the, uh, regular energy Zoa. But, um, so yeah, that's my first impression. Um, I, I'm not really enjoying the flavor, but it is a pre-workout. A lot of pre-workouts don't, don't taste that great anyway. Um, so I do enjoy the flavors of the regular energy Zoa. Um, but this is zero, zero, 20 calories, uh, no sugar, one gram of carbs. So they don't always taste that great. Uh, but it is uh, tasty enough for me to be able to get down quickly, um, and then let it kick in before my workout. So if you want to stay tuned and follow up uh, for my follow-up video, for my full review, uh, stay tuned for that. Um, you can order these on Amazon or GNC right now. Uh, I'm not sure how much it is for one, because like I said, I bought the case. And for a case of 12, it is $39.99. If you have tried this or any other flavors, please uh, comment down below. Tell me what you think. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, remember to be stars. Smile, take a break, and relax.